I always knew I wanted to be a doctor from the time I was a little girl. My father was a surgeon and I watched him go back and forth to work and heard about what he was doing. And I did view medicine as a way that I could help others. And I'm particularly interested in making sure that care is equally delivered to people, regardless of social class or race or ethnicity. And I'm grateful I can tackle this problem with the training that I received through the Bloomberg School of Public Health. I'm personally also grateful to people like Mary Elizabeth Garrett, who worked with the Women's Medical School Fund in 1893 to raise money to keep the dream of a Johns Hopkins School of Medicine alive. And one of the stipulations she made was that women be admitted to the school on an equal basis as men. S3 or S4. And by doing this, she paved the way for S4. all women doctors, okay. Where, specifically the almost 2,000 women who have received their medical degrees from Johns Hopkins University so far.